Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Julia Wiegand. Three people were displaced after a fire Sunday night in West Hazleton. Firefighters were called to 117-119 East Broad Street shortly before 7 p.m. The building houses two businesses on the first floor and apartments on the upper level. The fire is said to have started in a second floor apartment on the 117 side, gutting the inside, while the 119 side sustained smoke and water damage. Two adults and one child were displaced, but are being assisted by the American Red Cross. One firefighter sustained a hand injury, but no others were reported during Sunday night's blaze in West Hazleton. A Pennsylvania State Police Fire Marshal determined the fire's initial spark came from the wiring of a porch light. A staple was driven into the wiring that caused overheating, which eventually ignited the wood surrounding it. Volunteers came together today at a church in Hazleton to distribute food to members of the community. WYLN's Julie Stefanovich has the story. Holy Rosary Church in Hazleton hosted a drive through food distribution today made possible by volunteers and the Weinberg Food Bank. The event was held for residents of Luzerne County. The Weinberg Food Bank, they've been working with us for a number of years, I believe over five years now, and uh, we have a food distribution now every two weeks. We publish it in the paper, so it, it's, it's for people who live in the area, so not just for parishioners, but they have to show that they live in the area. The response has been great as anywhere from 200 to 400 meals have been provided during the recent food drives that aid people in their struggles through the pandemic. We have a number of volunteers from the parish who come and what they'll do is actually take the uh, packaged food and, and put it right into their trunks as they, as they arrive. Members of the parish are grateful that they are able to assist the community. Since the pandemic began, we've been trying to reach out to people and help in all different ways. So we, we were limited on, on, we were especially in the beginning with people, how they would attend mass and be here. So we, we tried to videotape and, and broadcast that, put things on the website. But now with the physical help, with the food, we're, we're pleased and blessed to be able to do that. Parishioner Carolyn Chemansky plays a key role in helping to organize the distributions. We have the opportunity to become a, in a sense, a food pantry where we can distribute food. Uh, we've been doing it now. This is our third uh, food distribution. And again, we coordinate with uh, the Weinberg Food Bank and uh, the community and the Holy Rosary parishioners. The process of picking up the donations are both simple and safe for all who are involved. People do not get out of their car. They re uh, remain in their car for the safety of everyone. Um, everyone wears masks. They wear gloves, uh, the volunteers. And we do ask the people in the cars to, again, remain in their car and to also wear a mask. Shemansky sent a shout out to all of the behind the scenes people for their efforts in carrying out the church's mission. We're, you know, it's better to be a blessing to people. Um, so I, it's just, I can't say enough about the people that came to help and that we're helping people, those in need. For more information on the parish, you can check out their Facebook page or visit HolyRosaryHays.com. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thanks, Julie. The American Red Cross is experiencing a shortage of convalescent plasma due to the nationwide COVID-19 surge. Convalescent plasma is a type of blood donation collected from people who have recovered from the virus containing antibodies. Blood donations from healthy individuals are needed now as well to meet patient needs. As a thank you, people who donate blood or convalescent plasma between August 1st and September 3rd will receive a $5 Amazon.com gift card. To make an appointment to donate, download the free blood donor app by visiting redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-773-2767. A woman with no known address will face numerous charges after refusing to leave a Turkey Hill store in Sugarloaf Township. 37-year-old Tiffany Schmidt was asked to leave the store on Airport Road last Tuesday following a loitering complaint.
Police were called back Thursday afternoon after she returned to the same store. When police arrived to inform Schmidt she wasn't supposed to be there again, she became combative and resisted arrest. She was eventually taken to the station where she allegedly urinated on the floor and was found to be in possession of a small amount of marijuana. Schmidt was charged with criminal trespass, resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, and possession of marijuana. She was taken to Luzerne County Prison for lack of $5,000 bail. A Mahanoy City man was taken into custody after leading police on a chase last Thursday. Shenandoah police observed 34-year-old Matthew Lee Ketchledge operating his motorcycle on the shoulder of Route 924 around 11.30 p.m. They attempted, attempted to pull Ketchledge over, and he even stopped momentarily but took off toward Frackville. He was taken into custody after laying his bike down near the Gilberton Breaker. Police discovered two active warrants out on Ketchledge for failure to appear in court, as well as meth and a handgun in its possession. He was charged with flight to avoid apprehension, resisting arrest, among other charges. Ketchledge was released Friday, but taken back into custody by state police Saturday, where he remains behind bars, lacking bail. A Plymouth woman assaulted a police officer while resisting arrest last Friday. Police were called to East Main Street for a criminal mischief complaint, where they found 28-year-old Sierra Phillips allegedly intoxicated. Officers attempted to issue Phillips a citation, but she refused to sign it and continued giving a hard time, even after being placed under arrest. Phillips allegedly kicked and broke the inner door handle of a patrol vehicle, then kicked an officer in the chest and multiple times in the thigh while being processed at the station. She was charged with simple assault, resisting arrest, and public drunkenness. Superintendents in Schuylkill County met last week to discuss plans to safely reopen schools. A dozen superintendents from the county's public school system have been sharing ideas about bringing students back to the classroom. Ideas include social distancing, health screenings, and sanitizing plans. They're focusing on the health, safety, and education of the county's student body. Parents have been weighing in as well on children returning to school during the pandemic. Administrators plan to meet with representatives from the Pennsylvania Department of Health to, to discuss safety measures for the upcoming school year. GOP is expected to release a COVID-19 aid package proposal today. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's nearly $1 trillion plan includes information on extending unemployment benefits and expected to include another round of stimulus checks as well. However, GOP plans to reduce it substantially, citing the $600 weekly aid as a dis is a disincentive, disincentive for people to go back to work. President Donald Trump said to expect more stimulus checks soon. He, Nancy Pelosi, and McConnell all agreed on another round of $1,200 checks for most Americans. If CARES Act II passes, checks could show up as soon as August. The Who Wants to Be a Millionaire host that shared his life over morning coffee for decades across televisions nationwide passed away Friday. Regis Philbin was widely known as one of the hosts on Live with Regis and Kathy Lee from 1985 to 2000, then Live with Regis and Kelly until 2011. His turn of the century fame also came from hosting one of TV's most popular game shows, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? where the question, is that your final answer, was coined and became a national catchphrase. Philbin lodged more than, logged more than 15,000 hour, hours on the air, earning him the most broadcast hours logged by a TV personality in the Guinness Book of World Records. Philbin passed away of natural causes Friday, just over a month before his 89th birthday. Coming up on WYLAN News, Trump's action to make insulin cheaper out of pocket, plus a House bill becomes law without the governor's signature. But first, we'll take a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by the WYL and Weather Kids. We'll be right back.
Hey everyone, Ting O here, physical therapist with Physical Therapy Animal Centers. And today we're going to talk about hip pain and two of the most common areas you can get hip pain and something that you can potentially try at home to track off with it. So two muscular causes of hip pain is one, piriformis syndrome, which is a muscle and creates pain right in the butt. And two, uh, tendinopathies of the gluteal muscles, gluteus minimus and medius, which typically happens on the outside of the hip pain. For the piriformis syndrome, what you're going to do is sit right on the roll like this with your foot in this position and just roll forwards and backwards for a minute or so. And for the gluteus tendons, you roll right on the side here like this and then you roll up and down on that foot roll. So the key is to, uh, to find the areas of the tightnesses, know which muscles are causing your problem. Be sure to try the foam roller. If it helps, great. If it doesn't, don't be afraid to give us a call. We can try and identify your problem and see if we can help out. From the bottom of our hearts, the WYLN-TV35 family would like to say thank you to all essential workers for your service to our community and for keeping us safe. The Trump administration took historic action Friday aimed at cutting the costs of prescription drugs, dropping the cost of insulin to just pennies a day. The president signed four executive orders on the prescription drug market to make medications affordable and accessible for all Americans. Trump said the first order requires federal community health centers to pass the giant discounts they get from drug companies on insulin and EpiPens directly to their patients. The second will allow states, wholesalers, and pharmacies to legally and safely import prescription drugs from Canada and other countries, where prices for identical drugs are nearly three times lower. Trump said the third order cuts out the middleman that, quote, bilk Medicare patients with high drug prices while they pocket gigantic discounts. Trump called his final order the granddaddy of them all, requiring Medicare to buy drugs at the same price as any economically comparable OECD country, ending, quote, foreign countries freeloading off the backs of American taxpayers and pharmaceutical investments. Unless Congress acts, this order takes effect in 30 days. Schuylkill County Courthouse has a new asphalt roof, which ended up coming in under budget after a new change order. The order was a net deduction of roughly $11,000 from the amount to be paid to J.M. Young & Sons Incorporated, bringing the final cost to a little over $740,000. The company started the project fall of 2019 by using asphalt instead of slate, which made the roof both lighter and more durable. Luzerne County Council is set to vote tomorrow night on an ordinance extending its property tax deadline. The ordinance would extend the deadline to pay county tax bills at face value without a 10% late payment penalty to December 31st. Council already extended the deadline to August 18th, but a further extension was proposed to help the county residents struggling financially during the pandemic. Extending the deadline, however, could cost about $1 million in lost penalty revenue. A remote public hearings set for tomorrow at 5.30, with the agenda showing a vote to follow at 6. Visit LuzerneCounty.org for details on how to watch or participate in that meeting. Legislation became law without Governor Tom Wolf's signature today to increase transparency in the General Assembly. Although Commonwealth agencies have been processing record requests through the pandemic, Wolf announced letting House Bill 2463 become law, erring on the side of transparency. However, Wolf expressed deep concerns about the provisions and said the, quote, ill-conceived and poorly drafted legislation as it pertains to protections for critical security and infrastructure during an emergency will needlessly put Commonwealth employees in possible danger retrieving records to meet an arbitrary timeline. Another COVID cancellation for you, this time in Hazel Township. State Representative Tara Hill announced today that her annual Senior Citizens Expo is canceled this year due to the ongoing pandemic. The event attracts hundreds of older residents annually to learn about programs and services available to them from dozens of exhibitors. 
Coming up on New Cranberries News Choice, we talk going green with Mary Malone and Community and You, plus local blood drives. Stay with us. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. Right, mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. There's no better place to shoot than Whitetail Preserve. Their skeet trap and sporting clay fields are professionally designed and all stations are handicapped accessible. Whitetail Preserve has resident shooting instructors certified by the NRA in shotgun, rifle, pistol, home safety, and personal protection in the home. Whitetail can also cater any size event, whether it be a private party, corporate event, or wedding. Call 570-455-4251 extension 1378 for more information. Looking for information on the coronavirus pandemic? Make sure it's from a reliable source. Go to WYLNTV.com and click on the Lehigh Valley Health Network banner for the real facts about the coronavirus pandemic. And watch WYLN News live at 5.30 for updates on this ongoing crisis. The source matters now more than ever. WYLN, we're your local network. Welcome to Community and You here on WYLN. I'm Julia Wiegand, and today we are right on Broad Street with President of the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce, Mary Malone. How are you doing today, Mary? It's great to see you again down here on Broad Street. Definitely great to be finally in person while staying safe. I see you just took off the mask just so we could kind of talk today. <laughs> Absolutely. So good to be in green. Yes. And speaking of the green face, today we are going to be talking what is open, what is happening in downtown Hazleton. Now, Mary, what are some of the things that the public can expect now that not only is Luzerne County in the green, but downtown Hazleton is pretty much open as well? It is, and so many of the offices that had been uh, working remotely or virtually are now starting to open back up. Masks are uh, something that you see uh, most places including the chamber required to wear a mask in order to enter the building. Um, so you see probably when you walk in, a lot more hand sanitizing stations and things of that nature. Um, and we've been actually in green since last Friday. And I think people are starting to come back um, slowly. Right across the street, we have a lot of our restaurants now that have uh, adopted and kind of also have an outside venue for the social distancing and outside. So like I said, it's kind of uh, a slow pace. Some folks are still working remotely, like I know in the Chambers uh, instance, we're kind of doing a hybrid so that the office is open and there's coverage, but also folks working from home as well. Now, if people want any information on what is available and what's happening, where should they go? Who should they contact? So um, the Chambers uh, website has a host of information on it as far as what are the CDC guidelines and what can we do and if there's any limitations because yes, we are in green, but there are still some precautions and things like that that need to happen at hazeltonchamber.org. And then we also have Luzerne Ready, which Dave Pedri, our county manager has set up that also has information. 
we've been trying to keep up with because there's been changing hours. I'll use Frankie's Pizzeria as in uh, just this week got back to their regularly scheduled hours. Uh, Jimmy's Hot Dogs was another restaurant. So as they send in their hours, we're trying to update them as well as on the, our directory, also on our Facebook page. It seems like the access is just as easy as walking around with a mask. It's that easy. Um, yes, it, it, uh, it really is. Uh, parking, uh, the parking enforcement is back on downtown. Uh, I was actually worked most of the time from my office. And so the amount of traffic that's back is all good news for activity. Uh, we have lots of construction projects that have been halted or back in session as well. Um, so good things are definitely happening. Um, and like I said, uh, just asking folks to as much as they can, the social distancing, obviously the hand washing, and again, the, uh, the masks. And as you, everyone can see right now, we are in the wind tunnel. We are right on Broad Street. Cars are passing and it seems like things are kind of slowly gravitating towards the new normal that's going on. Yes, absolutely. And uh, like I said, in the last like two weeks, we've definitely seen um, from the point of the county going yellow until now, definitely an uptick and the nicer weather and all that. We're actually standing right by one of our colleges, Lackawanna College, which has a downtown pres uh, presence, and they're actually doing a hybrid. So if you're unsure of either a restaurant that you want to go to or a retail operate operation you would like to go to, I would suggest calling first just because we, we're still in a transition phase and I hate to have somebody come down and find out up, you know, they close a little bit earlier or things like that. And then, uh, and, and just to uh, come on out for sure. I'll definitely be out and I'm sure everyone else is excited to be out as well. Thank you so much for squeezing us in today. Uh, we're glad and we're glad that, uh, again, to see face to face. I, I've missed seeing everybody. So oh, I, yeah. think, I think that there's a big sense of excitement of getting to, uh, to see people again and get reconnected. Most definitely. And thank you everybody for watching out there. Remember, we are in the green. This is great. Let's keep us in the green. Let's still remember to stay smart stay healthy, and stay safe. We'll see you next time with Community and You here on WYLN. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Tune in every Sunday night on WYLN from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for hard-hitting, high-flying, non-stop action as only Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling High Voltage can bring you. That's Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling every Sunday night on WYLN. I'll see you in the ring. Catch us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic, where you'll learn all about massage therapy and the benefits of that in chiropractic. We'll see you this week. As the urgency for community blood drives continue to grow, the Red Cross of the greater Hazleton area lined up a few through the month of August. 
First ones this Saturday, August 1st, from 9 to 2 at the Hazel Azalea Masonic Lodge on North Wyoming. Then on Tuesday, August 4th, you can check out the Laurel Mall Blood Mobile from 11 to 4.30. In honor of Andrew and Marion Kovic, stop by the Boyer's Market Blood Mobile from noon to 6 on Monday, August 17th. And finally, the Laurel Mall Blood Mobile's back at it again from noon to 6 on Thursday, August 19th. All presenting donors receive both a $5 Amazon e-gift certificate and raffle entry into a drawing for a Red Cross gift bag. Appointments are encouraged. Summertime travelers, PennDOT's got some newly issued guidance for you. If you've traveled or plan to travel to an area with spikes of COVID-19 cases, it's recommended you quarantine at home for 14 days when you get back to PA. Those areas include, bear with me here, Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Nevada, North and South Carolina, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, and Wyoming. And speaking of PennDOT, they've got some interstate work lined up. PennDOT announced that line painting will happen this week on Interstate 81 in Schuylkill County. The work will take place on I-81 from the Lebanon County line to Luzerne County line in both directions. Work was expected to begin today from 9 to 3 and complete by Thursday, July 30th. That's the news. Remember, the source matters now more than ever. Catch all the latest on our Facebook page or WYLNTV.com, where you can also find LVHN's real facts about COVID-19. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next right here on WYLN-TV. It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. Right, mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street or in hometown in the hometown village square. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. WYLN CA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN 1057 East 10th Street in Hazleton, Pennsylvania.